2022 has been a wild year and I picked up over 25 pairs of samples and PE sneakers. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over my top 15 picks of my favorite PEs of 2022. Let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. The Air Jordan 9 Michigan PE. Now there's a couple different versions of this shoe right here, but this one in particular I really liked. You got more of a black with the navy version. You got the boot bottom. This is the basketball bottom with the yellow bottom. What do you think about this shoe right here? I personally love the shoe. Um, there are other shoes that are higher on my list and you have this shoe as well and what number are you ranking this shoe at number 15 he blew it <laughs> this shoe right here do not need to be at 15 this shoe is it's comfortable it's a dope looking shoe hey I heard you already you dirty yours up a little I bit. I dirty mine up a little bit, but I, I, I cleaned them yeah, up. Not about to clean I, it up. I, I tried. <laughs> so but, right here, uh, the reason why you'll see later with all the other shoes, but I think the next one is it's the same model, but a different colorway. Yeah. And I think it's a little bit better because it has a better story and meaning for me. You know what I'm saying? But see, you after the story, the meaning and yeah, all that well, stuff. I mean, I'm, collect I'm a shoe collector for that. I'm not doing it for the hype. I'm doing what I can wear. I get that too. Or, <laughs> what am I rocking? What's the story behind it? Not all the hype, everything like that. Just oh. like, you know, the the, uh, the journey of getting the shoe. There's a lot yes. of different things. Anyways. Well, when I wear these right here, they flip their we, wig. We spent these. enough time on these. We can get rid of those. Oh. Oh On to the next shoe, the Air Jordan 9 Oregon Duck PE. Now oh. these right here, I like these a little bit more just because it hits home. I used to have these, got rid of them. I was searching for them for a while, tried to get another pair. I found a pair in a smaller size. I had those, then I traded them for these and I got them in my size. And now I can actually wear the shoe. So I had to put these a little bit higher than the Michigan And 9. I appreciate all your effort. <laughs> it still don't beat the Michigan. No, like... <laughs> I think they're better. It's a good looking shoe though. I mean, it's a great looking shoe. Not good. It's a great looking shoe. Like you said, wearability, very similar. And it has to the other all shoe. that. And this is actually more universal to every type of The only thing outfit. I said that they should have did that they should have did the black like that on here, the dark. Yeah, instead of like that lighter kind of color. Because it's more like charcoal, like gray yeah, and I black. That. I feel that. Well, okay. that's it. So number 14 ranking right here. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> we got to put this one down preciously. <laughs> And grab the next year. All right. <laughs> Number 13, we have the Air Jordan 14 Oregon Ducks PE right here. This is the gray colorway. There's two different versions. Well, I guess there's multiple versions depending on what team got the shoe. But you got the green and the gray. I still need the green in my collection. Don't have those yet. But the gray, it's actually funny because this is a shoe that I was just kind of like looking for for a while, but it was running under the radar. Finally got my hands on it. And now I'm like, I'm glad I got these in the collection. I had a little bit, you know, a little bit more value to it for me uh sentimentally i understand that that's a great shoe i love the print the print is fire i think they did right? a good job they did a very good job on the shoe they feel really good on foot i've already well worn. i it's not a 14 i, so I can't already. tell you that it's actually funny because this is a 14. <laughs> what <laughs> What? 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 They run a little small. <laughs> what? They run a little small. Those, those might not be yours. <laughs> those could be mine. No, no, no. <laughs> they, they're, they're mine. <laughs> hey, okay, I'll give you 600 for them. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to double that, triple that. <laughs> you have some more work. You're going to even sell me the suit. You're going to be cutting grass for a while. <laughs> Man. But yeah, not so, in these, though. Not in those. But yeah, I don't know. I really like those. I think they did a really good job on the shoe. They've done a great job. On Jordan the shoe. 14s don't get as much love. I think they should uh, do this more often on more of the shoes. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. like that, that quilt, kind of like, yeah. you know, like it's the like, mattress. Yeah, vibe. almost embroider. <laughs> yeah, it's actually like embossed into the. That's what the word I'm yeah. looking for. It's crazy how they got the materials on there. Yeah. So, yes, I had to rank these at number 13. We got a lot of dope pickups. 13. And again, like I said, you guys requested my dad be on the channel for this. We worked on this together, putting this list together. So It was uh, tough, and we still hard. don't agree. Some things. Uh, oh, hey. Just some things. Uh, Okay. Yeah. We agree. We agree on like 70%. Eight. 80%. Eight, 80%. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. I feel like it's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? At number 12, we have the Air Jordan 5 Oregon PE. Now, this is the PE version, not the GR. So, there are similarities and differences. I used to have this shoe multiple times, had it, it wasn't my size. And I wore it and I was just trying to stuff my, show, my shoe and uh, my foot into a size 12. It just wasn't really working. I was right. like, you know what? I'm getting rid of it. Then now I finally found a pair of my size, which was shortly after. So 
glad to add these back to the collection there's a couple other pe's that i got this year that i that was kind of like double ups or whatever and i was just like right. i don't really want to put those on the list but this one i feel like you know it was worth putting on the list just because i remember the times uh when these came out right. and just all the just the Let's good memories look at you i still you got the where's, gr version where's my michigan's you have the gr version oh yeah no, I got these, but I don't have it. Mine don't have this it's on got there. Got the patch on the back. Yeah. yeah, it's different. It's different than this. Very similar. But I do like the shoes. And it's some a great people shoe. say that the GR version is better than the PE. As far as comfortable? Uh, no, just like colorway materials, everything like that. Some people like that one a little bit. I'd more. have to see them side by side because to me they looks a lot similar. I did a full review comparing the two shoes, uh, so we can refer back to that later on the channel. I'll make sure it's listed for you guys down below. I'll have a list of all the shoes, and if I've done any reviews of any of these sneakers. I'll make sure you guys can check out those reviews with these the links clean, and everything. They clean. You like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's right. nice right there. Coming in at 11th place right here, we have the Oregon Duck Air Jordan 8. Now, I thought this was super dope because this is one of the first duck PEs that we saw with a black duck on the tongue. And it was super dope to see that. Uh, and it was actually cool because I was able to get the other two. And I was like, let's just call this a set. <laughs> Instead right. of like ranking them all and everything like that. So we're going to just call this whole thing an entire set uh, with the three. Do you want to rank these for yourself? Like what you would rank them at? Even though there are 11th place on the list, but you know, we'll see what you think. For each other? Mm -hmm. I take this one. I'd go one. I go two. I go three. Okay. So this so one is third. No, that's one. This is first. Yeah. That'd be Second, one. Second. That'd third. be two. And be okay. Three. I would probably go with first, like this, maybe switch that first, second, third. Just because this one's so similar to this one. Right. I would put like boom, boom, boom. And separate but them. I know this one is just really wild, like hard, very hard shoe to wear. So I'm but gonna the, be. But I'm colorblind, so I'm yeah, gonna wear this like, way, yellow. Yeah, he was like, oh, is that yellow? I was I'm like, like, oh, that's yellow, that's like, dope. Lime green. That happened to me before. So I know, the I know. <laughs> I've helped you out. A I had a times. sweatsuit on. It was yellow with some lime green shoes, and I thought I was fresh. <laughs> and somebody asked me about that. Like, what like, are you Why doing? Why do you do that? <laughs> I literally bought some more shoes for that that day <laughs> to wear with that because I I didn't know. Remember it was in Palm Springs and you had that one outfit. Oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no. You need to go back and find something else. Oh. Coming in at 10th place right here, we have the Oregon State Air Jordan 9s. Now these, I think, are better than the Oregon 9s. I think these are better than the 8s. I think they did a really good job, and it sucks that Oregon State didn't get any other PEs. I know, yes, they got the one mids and everything like that, but realistically, if you think about it on the grand scheme of things between the Oregon PEs and the other colleges and stuff, it kind of sucks that Oregon State just, you know, it's they a, don't rival, win as much it's a either. rival school. They beat the Ducks. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Rare. Yeah, I know. But Rare. anyways, I think they did a really good job on the shoe. Materials, colorway, everything like that. But no, they beat the Ducks in football. Yeah. Not in basketball. Yeah. But well, actually, I don't know. I haven't checked the record on their stuff, so I can't tell oh. you. But hey. either way, I think uh, these right here, like I remember when these came out and I remember hunting these down and finding a pair for 400 bucks back in the day. And I had 11 and a half. What are they, 500 now? What? These. Those? They're like <laughs> 1500, something like that. So I remember finding them for like 400 bucks and I was like, oh, this is a good deal. Like I had them for a long time, but I had like 11 and a half and I took the insole out and I was you trying to, to wear them. them. And I was like, <laughs> this was a long time. This is like 10 years ago. This is a long oh. time ago. So That's I had them. probably were like a 12 or They something. were in my collection for like yeah. at least like seven years or something like that. Yeah. And then I got rid of them because I was like, I don't, you know, it's, just, it's pointless at this point. And then I think, oh well, yeah, this year I found a pair from the person that got them, that I sold my other pair, he had and these. Like, nice. And I was like, yo, I'm I back. need those. And so see, that's the thing, your story behind the shoe and hunting and waiting, being patient, when we talked about yeah, before, yep, yep. being patient to get what you want. Yeah. Oh. No, no, you're good. The, to get what you want versus just being spontaneous. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. And then you get whopped over the head, right. getting things that you don't need to be doing. And it's good, being patient. Yeah, so for me, I had to make sure these got put on the list. Um, it was crazy how we did the ranking because originally these were in like 14th place and I started right. to think about it and I was like, they slowly started moving their way up. So yeah, they got moved up. They, I would have had them back. They made the bit. top 10. Almost cut them out. I was trying to cut them out. He was not out. trying to cut these out. Like those got to go first. He, he was like, ducks only, ducks only. <laughs> yes. All right. Number nine, right here. We have the University of Oregon. See the difference? Air Jordan 7s. Way cleaner. 
Uh, this is a shoe that I never disliked, but I always was like kind of roasting it a little bit. Why? Because I was like, it looked like mustard. I feel like they kind of did like it was kind of weird football? with the color blocking or something. And then I don't know. It started to grow on me a little bit over time, and I was like, you know what? I think I want to add these to the collection. Then I got them, and I had already seen them in person, right. but I had got them and I actually put them on feet, and I was wearing them, and I was like. This is a cool shoe. You know what I'm saying? I like these. Yeah. I like these. Yeah. So I'm not like hyping them up like it's the best. You know, it's definitely not. I don't even know if I would. Mm. I still I, I felt like when they came out with these. For, or top five for Oregon PE. I felt like when they came out with these, they, they was biting off the Hirachis. But this no, sock no, no. liner the was designer, like The designer worked on both shoes. Oh, okay. See? Yeah. See? Hey, see? You so, know the story. You know the, the story. The, yeah. Because I'm like, that's kind of like the Hirachi no, no, vibe. No, no. The whole it thing was all right coming there. around in the same era. This? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that nah, makes sense. It's, yeah, no, nah, it's different. Yeah, it's yeah. good. So you know. Yeah, it's, I didn't know that. I just learned history, something today. So that's why it's similar. And this was actually when these came out, the original Jordan Sevens back in the day. Mm -hmm. This was considered to be the lightest Jordan model and the lightest model sneaker on the basketball court in the NBA really? at the time. This is in the mid '90s with the technology and everything that they used on this shoe. So, but that's a whole another story for the sneaker and everything. Either way, yeah. there's about four. There's 400 pairs of this shoe right here. Um, I got number whatever that is, two something. Uh, and yeah, I got these from my guys over at Soul Steels. I appreciate them for that. We did a trade. They surprised me with these, and it was super dope. He was just like, "Yo, you got uh, I forgot how Size much he said. It was like two thousand or twenty five hundred bucks or something like that." And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "All right, send it." And I was like, "Um, okay." Hey, who just does that randomly? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I get a package. I get a package in the mail. And I'm like, me. "Yo, this I'm gonna is crazy. send you something." Like, I'm gonna have a good ass <laughs> deal on these. So That's yeah, hilarious. it was a crazy story, and right. uh, it was a dope pickup, and I was excited to get something I didn't have in my collection yet. Right. Uh, that I can he wear. Said, Yo, you got like 2500 bucks that you send me? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna send you some shoes. All right. <laughs> and then I just opened the box, like, what is inside? <laughs> it was crazy. So that's number nine on my list. Now, number eight, we had a great debate about this shoe. Eight was the great debate. Right here. I tried to put this shoe further up in the shell. You tried to put this at number three. I just said that. So this needed to be further up in there. In, into the top five. Okay. This this what I'm saying. My top five at least. For sure. Top five, top five, top five. This should have okay. been in the top five to me. Okay. Right? And y'all can tell me later. So this is what you thinking, but I'm telling you this. This is the UNC Air Jordan 3 PE. So the difference is you have I think the materials are essentially the same on the two. It might be a little bit better, but I can't tell because I honestly I feel like they did a really good job on the GR release. Uh, but the tongue they is different with the this. US, huh? They did good on this. No, no, this is no, cause so PEs <laughs> and samples, like they always do better materials and stuff. Oh, okay. so even if it's like to the eye, it looks the same. It could actually yeah. be in the back end where it's like, they actually do a better material. Yeah. So, which is a whole, again, whole nother conversation. Yeah. But, cause this, this leather. Yeah. Nice. They always do better on PEs and stuff. The way they put the shoe, cause they less to make is for a higher client or whatever, you know, just all different stuff. So. You have the UNC logo on the tongue, the football uh, pit, uh, patch on the back. You got the argyle on the inside of the insole and everything else pretty much looks similar to it. And I think that's kind of why I push these down on my list just because it is similar to the GR, just like the Oregon 5, right? Like it's right. kind of similar to Right, my shoe is very GR. similar to you that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you could see why- So other people could be wearing something similar. Why it would get pushed down. And why it would spend like four or five grand on a shoe versus right. 300. Right, right. So it's Makes like one sense. of those situations. That makes sense. So that's kind of why the action, the other person's not gonna know that. I got it like really easy. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. wasn't like I had to go go crazy for it and do this thing. And I was like, like it was like a very simple trade. It just came to me quick. Like it wasn't too hard. So for me, I was. Did it just tell you send twenty five hundred dollars for some shoes? <laughs> <laughs> so this is number eight. <laughs> this is number eight right here. Now right. number seven. You like these? The Michigan Air Jordan Four. Go ahead. These babies is clean right here. Huh? What you, look at that. That's I think all. I, it's, I have a problem with the outsoles. I know, but at the end of the day, there's a couple shoes from this pack. What do you mean you have a problem with it? Because it's going to yellow. It's going to yellow over time. Oh, uh, Right now it ain't. No, nah, it's icy. It's <laughs> like, icy. Yeah. But no, I think the, 
the there's a couple from this pack with the you know all the uh, I think it's six pairs from the Jordan Four. Well, you can't show the pack. number of that one because like, the numbers on the inside. Yeah, oh, yeah. You can't show the it number. It says football on the back of the tongue, Michigan logo on the front. But this one is that one might get it soon. It might be in like fourth place on my out of the college pack, maybe even fifth place. You know, on the kind of lower tier just from the pack. So that's kind of why I wasn't fully like emotionally attached to it. But what the materials being is able cool, to get it for a good deal good. and I like the shoe. You can you can dress the yeah. shoe up and dress it down. And like, if you was going somewhere nice. Yep. Put on a nice pair of jeans or something with a nice shirt, you know, with the button up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're killing with yeah. these right here. And people are like, what? And then if you know, you know. Type yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I definitely really like the shoe either way. I didn't yeah. uh, just get it because I just wanted to have right. something that was right. exclusive. Like, you know what I mean? There's a lot of PEs and samples I just don't like. And I'm like, it's cool. I don't need to have it in my right. collection. Like, there's other stuff that I want. So certain but sets I want to But you've been good about that. Yeah. And things that you actually like, which we always say. Yeah. Get what you like. Buy don't you buy. Like. What everybody else tell you to buy. Oh, yeah. I would have got these. It's your money. Spend it how you want to and get what you like. So yeah. that way, anything happen, you good. It's like, right. that's I what I like wanted. Shoot. Yeah, right. If the price go up, it go down. It doesn't matter. Yep. yep. You know? So that's the most important thing too, throughout all this stuff. And then now this next one, you're going to start to see, you know what I'm saying? I really like. It's getting tight, y'all. It's getting it? tight. Uh, we're going into number six right here. And <clears> it's a Jordan six. The Michigan sixes. Ooh, this whole set, tight. I need this whole set. Probably in 2023, I'm gonna complete this set of all the college PEs from the Mich uh, from the uh, Jordan six set. So I think it's six or seven colorways. I gotta remember it off the top of my head, but my palm is itching already. Did this glow in dark? The... No. That looked like the material. But it's kind of milky dark. like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the Michigan sixes, I've done a video on these. I'll make sure I have a review for you guys down below in the comment section or in the these bad description. Boys, it's clean. But these go crazy. I think it's a really, mm. really clean shoe. I love the sixes. The sixes rank very high. So yeah. if you see any sixes on my list, you can understand why they're in the top five or top ten right. or somewhere around there. And uh, it's going to have to be something. Did you wear these yet? No. I haven't. I just got these. I got all these this year, but I just haven't yeah. had a chance to really wear them yet. <laughs> Do you have too many pairs of shoes to no, wear? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. <laughs> Give me a break here. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, this is clean though. I'm mean, down to five. Shoe. This is six. That's number six. This is number six. Five shoes. Oh, we didn't tell them about the final final shoe. Or should we wait? No, we'll wait. We'll, we'll just wait. wait. Okay, we'll wait. wait. Number five. So this is the one that you wanted to put lower on the list. I would have backed this up further and it probably would have been, I think I had it like seven or eight. Okay. No, no, I had it eight or nine. I yeah, think something I had. like that. So I had it further out. For me, I've been going after this shoe. I want the shoe. I love the BBPEs. I have a bunch of BBPEs in my collection. All the different things. This was kind of like one of those staple PEs that just means so much to the game, nostalgia, you name it. Like I said before, off camera, the, these shoes walked so the other shoes could run. Before yeah. there was college PE, because there wasn't college PEs back then. I understand, day. but I'm just because saying. Because all the new PE heads, what they want, college PE. Poly and we yeah. see a lot of college PEs on here. But, but, uh, but I'm, I you get just that. Get them. I get that. That's because, they, yeah, they're more easy to come by and all that right. stuff. And all the old stuff I already got. So it's like, I don't right. need to go back after. Either way. This is a clean this shoe. Is, it's a clean shoe, without a doubt. Let me let me do this. It's a clean ass shoe. Oh, it's okay. a clean shoe. But it ain't beating my Michigans. The Michigan Nines? Those. Them is back there. Uh, I mean, those. I mean, those. No, I'm just saying, the North Carolinas, this is clean. The threes? You said the threes is better than yeah. you? Uh, uh, hey, in the comments, y'all, later, let me know when y'all see this, which one would you take over these two shoes? Take the nines. Just say they both, if they, you had to pay a thousand bucks for either pair, just give them the same price, no, same value. Uh, if the value was the same, because these are worth more. I know. I'm just saying, if you gave them the same value yeah. at one thousand, like if they were both worth a thousand bucks, if they both worth a thousand bucks, people like threes more than they like nines in general. And then some people hate on low top retro versions in general too. So uh, like, well. there's a lot of different like things behind that that cause those answers to be skewed. But I, I would say this. I would say this. A OG PE head, they're rocking with these. Out of just like I said, respect, nostalgia, all the different things going after it. Now, one thing that I can say is this shoe is probably not going to be wearable. There's pairs that are already falling apart because it's so oh. old. This shoe is like 20 years nah, old. Nah, it just wasted it. This shoe is like 20 years old. And we holding it? Yeah. <laughs> you normally just keep those put away. 
<laughs> but yeah, no. So uh, there's a lot of different factors to these questions. And it's always funny because we ask these broad questions. But again, there's so many different ways to people answer. But I didn't know that was 20 year old shoe. But that's what I'm that's why I said this is like it's not even an OG, but it's it's a yeah. you know, it's a staple. But in if the it came down to it, I'm so blind. OK, nice. All right. Well, good thing. Good thing you didn't have to. Get I didn't them. have no money to get them. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> OK, number All four. Right. We have a Jordan 4. These, these right here? These worked their way up on my list. I've been rocking these. I've been loving these. I had to put these in my top five. I had to put these in my top five. What do you think about these? Butter. Hey, I like these a lot. You say you want a size 14? I want a size 14 in these. <laughs> For sure. Hey, so yes. we made that skit or the video or whatever we did the other day. And somebody was like, yo, I got a 14 for your dad. And what? It, they, they wanted like, I think it was like, it was like a used pair. And I think they wanted like three bands. Or of something these? Like yeah. Dang. I think they were I don't like, want to spend three bands for I those shoes. I think it was shoes. like three or 2,500 or something. I'm going like to wear them. I know. So I'm, I don't, I'm wearing mine too. Look at it. I know. Well, they look icy because I clean my shoes, but. No, I wear my shoes differently. I be, yeah, no. <laughs> you, you disrespect your shoes. There's a difference between wearing your shoes and disrespecting them. You got to chill. Hey. No. Yeah. You took shoes. those Travis Scotts and you stumped in the mud and you did all that stuff. That was disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. I was like, you know, <laughs> he's like, watch me clean them. I'm like, no, don't do that. I didn't do that. Okay. Okay. I might have mowed the line. I did that one time though. Yeah. That was for a video. Oh, okay. Yeah. You just did it because you didn't, Cause, you wasn't yeah. even thinking. All right. Number three. Air Jordan 1, UNC PE. I think the craftsmanship, the materials, the colorway, the the collaboration, the you name it, insane. They just did a great job on this shoe. They done like, a great job on this shoe. This whole pack, I would love to have this whole pack. And I think this isn't even the best one from the pack. I like some other colorways from the pack, but I think it's for sure like low key top three from the Jordan 1 uh, college PE pack. Cause them gator ones is clean too with the blue and the orange. I mean they've done a great they a colors. great job on this whole shoe. Materials is dope. They they and it's gonna be hard to like even nice. do a shoe similar to this later. That shoe is nice. With these kind of materials. And that's like the difference this. you get between a GR and yeah, a this, PE or this, a sample. They've done a hell of a job on this. You see what I'm saying? This is this is great work. But yeah, so that's my yeah. number three pickup this year. But that's still three? Yeah. This is number three. Yeah. Over those UNCs. Which, you still sweating these UNC threes? <laughs> Ask the people again. UNC threes or UNC ones? Yeah. I'm going with the ones. Wait a minute. Yeah. People got <sighs> pairs like these. That's why. Because they like them. No, because they can't get those. <laughs> That's why they got them. No, these is clean though. And it's not even about exclusivity. That's what I'm saying. It's not about. I no, guess, the materials on this is dope. The statement I just said was about exclusivity, right? They right. can't get those, right? Okay, right. great. But but again, if they could, but if they, they could, would get these. If you could get these for retail on a drop, I guarantee you, people no. go crazy. Like they, they did so good on this. No, shoe. these would sell out so fast. You could you can do nothing. No, it's a good shoe. They, they did, did a good so job good on this shoe. And they didn't switch this from this. Yeah, no, the they color, kept that's that. what I'm saying. Color blocking, collaboration. Sometimes they do it. too much and start trying to do too many different things. Yep. They did a great job of not doing that. Yeah, they did a good job. So that's yeah. number three on the list right there. Okay. Uh, I'll let you slide. You want to see what number two is? What's number two? It's almost made number one. Uh-oh. But then I had some pickups, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to switch things <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> Originally, these was number one number, on the list, number but then two. the year went on and I got some more kicks. Uh, Woo! The UNC sixes. These are so clean. I love sixes. Like I said, you're going to see sixes in my top 10. Yeah. This I is want clean. this entire set. This one in particular is so fire. The Oklahoma ones are like red like this, but on mm -hmm. this model, they're clean. Oh, that'd they're be clean. dope. They're clean. They're so clean. The Gator ones. Same materials, the, everything. The Gator ones are all royal blue with the big Gator on the back. Uh -huh. They're clean. They're so clean. I'm going to get them. You'll see. In Watch. size 14? No, in the 13. Oh, <laughs> just Watch. checking. I'm going to get them. I'm just checking. Just give me a little bit of time. I'm going to get them. I'm just checking. But yeah, no, this shoe is fire. Number two on my list. Uh, it, yeah. I, I I just love this shoe. Like, look at the suede, like right no, here. They did the a great patch, job on this like, shoe. And I was going to say, you're correct. This shoe beats that shoe. It's clean. I'll let you slide. <laughs> Those are so clean. <laughs> no, this is a good looking shoe. So what would you uh, what would you pay for a shoe like this? You know I'd make? probably max out at like 800 bucks. 800 bucks. That'd be me. Yeah, you gotta add another zero to that. 
8,000? <laughs> People are out there taxing these days. 8,000? Yeah. Oh my like God. That. It don't come with a motor. It, I mean, don't get me wrong. You're going to have people in the comments say, oh, you can find a pair for six. Da, 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 da. Like, Watch them be busted. Nah, but I'm saying you probably, you can find pairs for good prices. You can definitely, but and then but, other people are going to say, well, that's not a good price. Six down. And I get that but too. everything like, is it's all relative, your budget. It's relative to the your market. shoe size, exactly. yep. the condition of the shoe. There's a whole bunch of things. What state you in? There's a lot of factors. A lot. A lot of factors yeah. and perspective and, and who you like know. That. There's a lot of things. I know a couple people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready for the number one sneaker? The number one sneaker. Oh, should we tell them about the claws to the number one sneaker? So we had a discrepancy on what should be number one. So we kicked the number one shoe out. There's actually, yeah, so we have two number one sneakers. Yeah. So we'll show them what the number one is, and then we'll show them what the actual number one is. But it can be, because it can't compete. All right, well, it is what it is. So it gotta be, it's gotta be, um, uh, exhibition or whatever you call it. It's gonna okay. be something else. Okay. Well, but anyway, let's get it. Let's find these it right out. here is dope. Let's get the shoe. Let's get the shoe. Okay. No! <laughs> Which shoe? No! <laughs> I gotta go get it. Hold on real quick. <laughs> Alright, I got the shoe. The number one shoe? No, no, you can't show the... Okay. You gotta show the number one shoe first. The number one shoe. Yeah. And then we'll show them. And the then we'll show one. the we'll number, number one, one. <laughs> Alright, number one shoe. Number one pickup. The shoe that I've been going after for a long time. And I really wanted to get my size. I got my size. Mm -hmm. And this shoe is expensive as hell. So, you know, working a trade, doing all that stuff to get it. Worked a good deal. And yeah, this is it. This shoe right here. The Air Jordan 5 Duckman PE in my size. This is a very, very infamous pair of shoes right here. This shoe right here. There's just so many stories to tell. Yeah, you can't tell all the stories. No, I, I will. I'm gonna make a whole video about this shoe. But I'll say the sock liner, like, oh, this is nice. Just do its justice. This, on this is shoe. the materials is nice. You can tell that this, the material, yeah, it feel different than the normal ones. Yeah, no, like, it's it's amazing shoe. They did a like, really really good job. It, on this you can't shoe. really sit on camera, but I'm telling you, like, this shoe feels. And, totally and some different. people could say, oh, you just picked that because it's the most expensive shoe. And no, da, 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 da. no. And it's like, no, this, the story for me is always what I think about first for, you know, how I got the shoe and all that, what it meant to me and trying to get it and all this stuff. You know, Oregon PEs is always up there for me. So and we gonna, rock with fives too. You know what I'm saying? Lot. I love fives. But again, the story, how long it took me to find it and get into my size and everything. It's just been so many years since the shoe uh, was given out to the players to yeah. then finally get it. And typically with Oregon PEs, I usually, same year, a couple months later, I'm right. getting the shoe, I got them, da 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 But because it's for the basketball team, there's so few pairs. And they said there's like 25 pairs, 30 pairs. Combination's pair, great. I'll, yeah. Even like with the shoestring, that color, everything. Like they did a good job on the shoe. So yeah, it's a, it's really, really it's a nice. Very shoe. rare shoe and it's hard to get. Yeah. And people that are out there that have it, they don't want to get rid of it. Yeah. So it's that type of situation too. Unless they call you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then they're, they're like, okay, I'm ready to get rid of them. Right. But this shoe right here is the number one sneaker. But you want to show them the real number one? So what happened is... Let's show them. Go ahead. You want to make this the number one? And I said, no. <laughs> I said, it can't be. It can't compete. <laughs> so y'all tell me if we should have let this in the competition to be the number one shoe. My number one pickup for 2022. Hands down, number one pickup. Shoe that I've been going after for a really long time. Uh, again, another 10 year type bid, like waiting yeah. to get the shoe in my size. The price just kept going up. $4,000, $6,000, $8,000, $25,000. The price just keeps going up. And I'm like, bro, I gotta pull the trigger at some point. At some I point. Need these, like, I want these in my collection. Like, I just need to get these, you know what I'm saying? So, came across a dead stock pair in a size 13. Y'all saw the trade video. I got the Nike Air Mag this year. And this shoe is so light. Yeah. I can't believe it. Like, if you compare the yeah. weight of this shoe, it looks big and bulky. Like, right here, like, that looks big and heavy. Mm -hmm. This is so light. So, I'm looking forward this to... This is crazy. I'm looking forward to finding a day to really wear these on something to just be super dope to rock You're not these. gonna wear these. One day, I'm wearing these somewhere. No. Watch. I'm gonna find something to wear them for. Uh, no. Why not? It costs too much. I'll wear them. It'd be all right. It'd be all right. <laughs> 
I'm gonna get my bag up and I'm gonna just get another pair. Oh uh, yeah, there, there you go. That's what all I get, gotta do. Once you get another pair, you can rock these, but I wouldn't do that. All right, yet. so all right, so once I get a second pair, then I can wear the first pair. That makes sense. Okay. Or I can find a used pair and then just keep this one right. Ready. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Don't wear this if it's brand new. Well, it looks like pair. I gotta get my bag up. Yeah. <laughs> but no, so, these. Go ahead. These, these I want to get like a whole case and make a video for. Them. I haven't even really I made a video you were for. Thought you say whole case of shoes like. Oh no 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 <laughs> like. You know, like the pedestal the with the light and the, like like the museum yeah. style. Like, yeah. I think these deserve that. Those cases are like a thousand dollars alone. Crazy. That's why I'm like, I ain't got one yet. You know, I'm just keep waiting for. Like, <laughs> we're gonna let them sit though. Right. Yeah, I got the OG Take over box. there. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is my top ten oh. or top fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We got extra one. Either way, I picked up about twenty five PEs or something. We all know this though. This, this shoe is dope. This shoe is crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we have the top 10 pickups as well. So check that video out of the GR and the limited releases. I didn't think it was fair to put those in the same video as this. Uh, it just didn't kind of, it was just, yeah, I picked up a lot of shoes this year. So I appreciate you guys as always. And uh, you got like, share, words. subscribe. That's all I can That's say. It. That's all I can say. Like, share, and subscribe. We got more stuff coming at yeah. you guys coming soon. I'm going to try to be out here a little bit more, you know. What was that? Oh, no. We out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy, and I'll see you guys over there.